Are you struggling to decide whether you should ignore, delete, block, and or report someone on your social medias on YouTube, on Instagram, or on TikTok? We know that we can get a lot of very interesting comments when it comes to social media, and there are some criteria that I look at inside of my businesses to decide whether or not I'm going to ignore, engage, delete, block, or report a person who may or may not have the best intentions on my platforms. Let's take a look. Now, I allow people to express their opinions on my platforms, even if they differ from my opinion, so that we can have a healthy conversation but if something goes beyond that where it wouldn't be a helpful discussion I then have to look at some criteria and this is entirely up to you what are you comfortable with for you and for your followers so you don't have to make the same decisions that I have to make you have to make them for yourself but I highly recommend you make them before you start putting a ton of content out there so that you can refer back to it and not have to decide on a case-by-case -case basis because you know where your hard lines are already drawn and the things that you're going to do to then cope with that now the first thing I do is determine whether the person is actually trying to be kind of like a troll or cause problems or if they genuinely don't understand and are truly asking the question, at which point I can then explain and have a conversation with them. If it's something that I feel like they are maybe genuinely asking, I will engage in a conversation with them. But after that, if it becomes troll-like, then we put a stop to that. My priority is to keep my community safe, so I want to make sure that if there is a comment, it's not going to hurt people inside of my community. So if it's something that's just mean about about me or if it's not nice about what I'm talking about that's one thing but if it could potentially hurt the emotional well-being or the mindset of my students my followers the people who are hanging out with me on social then I'm going to look at that a little bit deeper if it could cause problems for other people if it could set them back in their progress with what we're teaching or if it could miscommunicate what we're trying to learn and help them educate with then it's something that I'm going to probably remove I want to make sure that my platform is an open space for communication and so I'm not going to block them unless it was really bad. Usually I'll delete that comment and I'll move on from there. If however it's something that definitely warrants a report, I will hide them from my channel, block them from my channel, and report them to the platform so that the platform can then handle it that. If it's something that's aimed at me personally, I have to decide, is this going to hurt me? Is it going to hurt my well-being? Is it something that I'm going to keep thinking about? Is it something that could potentially cause drama in my life that I don't want? Now, usually I'm gonna let people have their own opinions and if they wanna voice their opinions about me, that's fine on my platform, I can ignore that. But I wanna make sure that I'm taking care of myself as well. So if it's something that really hurts or if it's something that I feel like is going to be problematic in the future or if other people are going to jump on the troll bandwagon, then I'll probably remove that. And if it's annoying enough, I'll block that person as well. If, however, a person goes after one of my followers or anybody else who has commented on my post, if they're attacking that person, then I take it way more seriously than if they were just attacking me. If you go after one of my people, I automatically intercede in this problem. And that could mean potentially jumping into the conversation. It could mean outright blocking. It depends on what the situation is and how we fix it. But for the most part, I am just going to kick that person out of the space because that is not the energy. Those are not the vibes that we want in our community. So if they go after another person, I make sure that those people are removed and then I make sure that that person is okay if it's something that they've seen or engaged with or could potentially have a problem with. So I'll reach out to that person just to make sure that they know that I have removed them, it's not going to be a problem again, and make sure that I am there to help and to serve them so that they see that I am there to take care of my community and I really want to make sure that they are doing well even though something bad happened in my space, even though it was nothing to do with me. If a comment or interaction violates the terms of service of a social media platform, that's an automatic report in my book. If it's something that's going to violate the community standards of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever, I will instantly report it to the platform, delete that comment, and block them from my space. And the nice thing about Instagram is that it then blocks, or it has the option to block any future account that that person makes. So you can block them to make sure they're not going to come back in another form to harass you or someone else. Now sometimes these comments can have merits. Sometimes they're pointing out things that maybe we don't want to hear and we can get our feelings hurt just a little bit. So even if I decide to block something or remove something, I'll usually take a screenshot of it in case I want to refer back to it later. I'm an overthinker and so later today or tomorrow or next week I'm gonna be thinking about this incident even if it was a very quick delete and move 
on and I want to make sure that I have the ability to look back should I need to or records just in case it becomes a problem with that person later on in the future. So when I'm deciding if a comment should be left alone, if I should engage with it, if I should delete it, if I should report it, if I should block them, I am looking to see who this is going to affect. If it doesn't hurt anybody, if it's just a difference of opinion, I usually let it go. If it's something that bothers me just on a personal level, I'll probably delete it. If it's something that will hurt my students or my following, that is an automatic I protect my community no matter what, no matter who I make mad, I protect my community. If it violates terms of service or just like general humanity standards, that is something that we're going to take care of on a professional level. We're going to report that, we're going to block them, we're going to make sure that this does not happen again. And remember, this really does boil down to what is comfortable for you. What do you need to do for your own mental and emotional well-being? Is it going to be too traumatic or too dramatic or too time-consuming for you to handle a troll or to deal with a comment that's seems off the wall, then don't deal with it. You don't have to. You don't owe them anything. And if they're confused about what's going on, and it's a genuine question, but it is way too much work and effort and emotional strain on you, you also don't owe them anything. You can work with your other clients, your other students, your other members, and not worry about that one particular thing who would not be a good fit for you anyway. This boils down to what works for you, what works for your time, what works for your business, and most importantly, what works for your community. Do not be afraid to delete things that are not going to work and serve your community. Do not be afraid to block people who are adding difficulty to your life or just being an outright troll. And do not hesitate to report somebody who is violating terms of service or is just a generally awful person to make sure that this is not something they're doing to other people as well. We all get a lot of troll-like comments on social media. The more you grow, the more present you are on social, the more you're going to get. So at some point you're going to start growing a thicker skin, you're going to learn how to cope with these better, and when you have those standards in place for how you want to deal with these things, it becomes much easier to not take it to heart, to handle it the way you need to, and move on with your business so that you do not have to spend that time and effort dealing with the haters and the trolls on your social platforms so you can get back to serving the people that matter, your community, your clients, your students, your members, and the people that you want to surround yourself with. If you've got questions on this or suggestions on how to deal with these productive, helpful, ways that we can be dealing with these. Go ahead and get down in my comments. I would love to share and have a discourse on this so that we can grow together and be there to support each other even when the trolls sometimes come out to play on social media. Hit that subscribe and notification bell for brand new episodes on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, on live streaming, and on the tools and resources that you can be using to build up what you're doing on social media and make your content creation so dang easy. I'll see you in the next video.